It's a jewel in our National Park crown. Jasper Park Lodge Golf Club can still be seen the same way designer Stanley Thompson viewed it way back in the 1920s. The best word to describe it is vision. How someone could come here at a, at a completely uh, forested piece of property and walk around and walk around and decide where the green sites should be, where the tee sites should be, the angles of play. Some 20 years ago, a project began to return the course closer to the original design. There were some bunkers that have been removed over the years. Uh, in the in the regrow in after World War II when they brought the golf course back, there was not everything was put back in place. So they wanted to really preserve the memory and the and the feel of the Stanley Thompson gem. Moving trees to carve out a golf course back then was an engineering marvel, adding to the rich history of the area. When you decide to cut a, a hole out of the forest, you send a whole bunch of guys out with saws and they cut it down by hand and then they drag them off with horses and they build up the tee boxes and the ground here is so so porous, it's so full of rock that the irrigation lines, if you look closely, you can still see the original irrigation lines crisscrossing along the ground poking out uh, here and there. The golf course and the iconic lodge work hand in hand to make this spot in Alberta a bucket list item. Score Golf has named this for the last 18 years the number one golf resort in Canada. And resort is much more than a golf course and it's much more than a hotel. It takes the two working together. It really is a symbiotic relationship. Staff are very aware of the special tract of land they're responsible for, so they limit the interaction with the course to maintaining its natural beauty. The condition of the golf course certainly, but we're not going to change the routing anytime soon. We're not going to, it would be an insult to try to change what Stanley created 90 years ago this July. Happy anniversary. For Go Central, I'm Jim Claggett.